Welcome everybody to Scripting is Fun. Today we're going to do a real quick video on how to set up Photoshop to do some real simple pixel art. Uh, just a disclaimer, I am in no way an artist uh, and so I'm just going to show you just a quick way to set some things up so that if you're interested in doing pixel art you'll know how to do it in Photoshop. Um, we're mainly focusing on making 2D sprites for 2D games. So you're going to want to go into Photoshop and in Photoshop you're going to want to set up a new file and settings that work good for pixel art um, are some of these right here so first of all make sure that all of your measurements are showing in pixels and uh, a size of 1024 by 1024 is good for a lot of different resolutions of pixel art um, you can do smaller or larger I'm gonna set this up to be a sprite sheet so that we can have multiple sprites in the same document. Resolution 72 pixels per inch is just fine for things that are going to be displayed on a screen. And uh, make sure your background contents are transparent. Uh, we want that transparent background so that when we bring our sprites in they're not sitting inside of a white box uh, but they're actually just kind of cut out of their box by having transparent pixels. I'm going to hit OK. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn your grid on. So to turn the grid on, you can go to View, and then you're going to go to Show, and then Grid. That will turn this grid on. The grid's going to be used to help us know exactly where our sprites start and stop. So we got the grid turned on here. And then to adjust the size of our grid, we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then we want this one here, Guides, Grid, and Slices. This will get us this menu. Um, and this is where you decide how many pixels you want to include in your uh, sprites. So I've got this set for 32 pixels. So this will put a grid line every 32 pixels vertically as well as horizontally. So we'd have 32 by 32 pixels. If you want to do really, really grainy old school pixel art, you could go down to 16 by 16. Um, or if you want a little bit more, you could go 64 by 64. It's all these powers of 2, you know, 128 by 128. So it's really up to you how, how much resolution you want your pixel art to have. Uh, if you, uh, you can also use this to, to just draw your sprites and not use pixel art at all. Uh, in that case, you would just determine how large a sprite would be in your game, and you would assign the size, and then you can just stay inside the box for each individual uh, sprite that you're making. So I'm going to set this back to 32 by 32. Uh, and then subdivisions is how how much to chop that 32 pixels by 32 pixels up. So four is usually pretty good. That allows us to see where the exact center of our sprite would be, uh, and to kind of have those quarters to work in. Okay, so then you would hit OK here once you're done with that. And then if you zoom in on one of these boxes here, this box right here will give us 32 by 32 pixels. So that's what we have inside of this box and um, you can just zoom in a little bit more and when you get in close enough you'll start to see the little white lines here that go around every individual pixel inside of here uh, if you're going to do pixel art you're going to want to use your pencil tool and you're going to want to set your pencil tool to a size of one pixel and a hardness of a hundred percent then you just select the color that you want from your color chooser and then if you do one click, you'll get one pixel. Um, and you can just put in pixel by pixel, changing colors and different shades as you want. If you want a whole line of pixels, you can click. And then if you hold shift down and click at the end, it'll draw the whole line of pixels across. If you make a mistake, you need to back one out. You can either just stamp over that pixel with a different color, or you can go to your eraser. And again, with your eraser, make sure you set it to one pixel size, 100% hardness, and then you can just click and take one pixel out at a time if you want to, or you can just scrub over a whole bunch if you want to get rid of a bunch of them. So what you would do is you would uh, draw out your your artwork, you would stay inside the lines, you would go um, all the way out to the edges on your widest or tallest part and just kind of use that as your scale, uh, and then uh, when you want another uh, sprite you could just go to, to one of the neighboring boxes if you want to or you could skip a box so there's some white space in between 
Um, there's lots of ways we could bring this into Unity. But uh, that's the basic idea. You can also select regions. So if I wanted to drop in this rectangle here, I could select the region and I could paint bucket, fill it in with the color if I wanted to. Um, if you're using any of these tools that have anti-aliasing, in pixel art you want to turn that off because uh, what anti-aliasing does is it smooths your edges. And in pixel art you don't want to smooth your edges. You want to keep nice, sharp, distinct edges to everything. So you would turn anti-aliasing off on anything that has that. Uh, and you can just fill in regions. Of course you can uh, copy and paste things around in here. So there's all sorts of things you can do. Uh, it's just really kind of limited by what you know how to do in Photoshop. But that's the basic setup for your sprites. Um, once you have your sprites all done, then what you would do is you would save them as PNG files. PNG files are great for working with sprites in games because PNG files preserve transparency. So you would select PNG, you give it a name of some sort, and you would hit save. It's uh, going to pop up a little PNG options box. I usually just leave it alone. And just let it do the, the compression. Um, you can decide, I guess, depending on your workflow, how you like this. But I just usually leave it like this and save it. And then once that's saved as a PNG file, all I have to do is drag it into Unity's project panel and use the slicing uh, tools uh, inside of Unity to slice my sprites up, and I'm good to go. So that's the basic workflow and settings for setting up for pixel art. And again, if you don't want to do pixel art, you could just grab your brush and you could uh, just draw with your brush out here however you want, make your artwork look however you want it to look. Uh, if you want more pixels to work with on 32 by 32, set your grid size larger. That's fine. You can decide how high quality or low quality you want things to be um, in here with your brush. All right, so I hope that helps and uh, gets you started on doing some basic simple artwork in Photoshop and moving those things into Unity. Thank you.